The PSLE results actually just came out. Parents are taking tuition so that they can teach their kids tuition. I feel like they supported me by letting me play. I felt like they had my back no matter what. My dad would make me kneel down. Eh. Huh? No, she said you're not my dad. No! Do you also like your friends more than your parents? This is your daily catch-up. Okay, welcome to today's episode. And of Ooh. course, welcome back to our new set for Yee. our viewers. Woo, we are still celebrating it. So <laughs> on today's episode, I actually watched a very interesting CNA documentary that is called Regardless of Grades. You Ooh. know, they have this series where they do mm. like regardless of race, etc., etc. Yeah. So this one is like regardless of grades because the PSLE results actually just came out. Yeah, oh. so huh. asking uh, kids about what were their pressure points. Like, where do they feel the most pressure from? Like, is it from themselves? Is it from their parents? Or is it from their friends? How Them, much is parents? Themselves. Parents. I feel. Ah. Oh. I was <laughs> Wait, you got different opinion. <laughs> or maybe it's As to live up to my parents' yours. expectations. Mm. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, I feel wow. like I, want, I need to do that. Deeper, yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, as we have rightly, rightly guessed, except Shams, <laughs> it is true that kids actually receive the most amount of pressure from their parents, especially when it comes to like exam period. Mm. So, and in fact, right, the video actually shared something that's very interesting that I didn't know, but apparently it's been going on for quite a few years, according to Jared, and is that parents have been taking classes to be better equipped for their children's PSLE period. Wait, hold huh? up. <laughs> Wait, but parents, parents are taking classes? tuition yeah. so that they can teach their kids tuition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, fair lah. No, I mean, now you finish work, right? You go tuition for math. P2 math. Eh, sorry, I mean, P6 if they're they putting their children through hell, right? They should also try lah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'll be more stressed yeah, if my parents go exactly. do the tuition. How come you don't know? Last Yesterday, I also got learned this. Yeah. <laughs> How come you don't know? Do you all feel like parents nowadays right demand more from their children than like maybe perhaps ourselves? I feel mm. like they demand less. Ah. Mm. No, because now you know they preach the every school, good school, then tell the parents don't stress your kids. Then nowadays therapy is a thing also, right? So mm. I feel like there are many more avenues for parents to realize what they're doing to their kids in a sense. And then also like to have more like mitigating factors mm. of like how to handle my kids and how to make sure they're not as stressed, that kind. But last time, no such thing or not? Yeah. No, but I feel right, it's just the same feeling, but just a lot more masked. Of like oh. at the back of their head, right? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, school, so school, they school, can pay right? grow. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, but you no. better go to the top school. <laughs> yeah, that kind. So how were your parents like during like your PSI period? To be honest, right? preparing for this episode, I tried to think of some moments in primary school where I'm stressed about PSLE, but I think mm. I don't have. Whoa. Yeah, so my parents, right, their <laughs> motto to me is just like, do your best, let God do the rest. Whoa, <laughs> God, run right someone. Then I'm like, so I'm like, okay, I just do my best, lor. like that's all I can offer to the world, right? Uh, whoa, this so is a I very good so yeah. so <laughs> thing. If I do my best, then I feel that I just do better. Lor. In my mind, that's what I thought. I still had tuition, that kind of like Saturday, my whole morning, like nine to two, right? It's three tuition classes, like back to back. Yeah, but it, it seemed to help my grades, lah. Uh, I mean, I, should, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was very tiring. But then, I don't think my parents like forced me to study. Right. Like, I don't think they really like look at my grades. Like, it's just like when I got good grades, they're like, "Hey, look, I'm doing well." Did you ask for the tuition? <laughs> Flex. Oh uh, no, I didn't ask for the tuition. It's like they know your, that I need help. Your, your grades asked ask for it. Tuition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm not good at math, lah. So I had to do math. Yeah, if you primary school, you're doing three Bantry. tuition classes. Means it's three out of four subjects. Yeah. Primary school can get banned three, man. Can. Oh. This girl so irritated because she's like the Probably top. school, the minimum score is 90, you know, man. You get out of Say, other than giving you the tuition that you mm. needed, right, and like not stressing you out, yeah. like what way, in what ways do you think that they supported you? I feel like they supported me by letting me play. It's not like so they were bargaining with me. Notes. <laughs> I don't think they bargi ever bargain with me. Like, if you score 90, I will buy you this. Oh, the carrot, oh, the carrot Yeah, uh, carrot in front of this. But it's kind of like, if they buy me something, then they say, okay, I remember, make sure you do well in school. Like, oh. continue, like, doing your best. Then I'm like, okay. Then, but then I'm like, playing all the way. Mm. But I didn't think like, oh, that's my reward for doing well in school. So to translate to corporate speak, is like, you get the pay raise and say, hey, you're getting pay raise because you want a reward. You remember to do well. Instead of, hey, you do this, 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 then you get pay raise. Up. Yeah, don't take notes. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you the pitfalls of that strategy because okay. I think my mother, my parents, la, they also kind of did the, okay, we sign you up for tuition, mm. but uh, not really so many expectations, but play up. 
and play I did. <laughs> no different kind of children. <laughs> like I, I, I very much remember at that year, right? Pokemon mm. Blue just came out. Mm. And then oh, my entire like 2003, right? I remember that's all I did. I, my parents like really didn't like keep a very close eye. Mm. And then it kind of really showed for my PSLE results. La. But have they always been like that? Like throughout your primary school years? Uh, yeah, I think they just had this expectation because I'm a, the youngest child, right? I had a brother who already went through the system already. Mm. And he, okay, la, they, it seems that their first try at parenting, they didn't really do very, very heavy. And then <laughs> he went to Express Stream. Okay. And then like, okay. La. So success story. Success and then story. comes their second son. No, <laughs> <cat>. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, why you laugh at a normal cat? I never I laugh 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 laugh. say anything. Or I, I can laugh because I never laugh. catch. Oh. <laughs> As in, so do you wish like your parents at some point maybe step in and like tighten the reins in a sense? That's the problem, la, you know, because- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you want to play the no, 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 it's because I, I was in this very like unique situation, I think, because where my parents like, my worst subject was Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And my parents also very bad at Chinese. Oh, oh no, it's so the real thing. <laughs> yeah, so like when they, like when they, I fail my Chinese, right? Then they are like, ah, uh, can I really blame like, him? Can you help me in my homework? I can't, eh? <laughs> and then it's like, right, right, right. Then oh, it's so unfair, yeah. I also very bad at Mandarin, mm? but then I always fail. It's always like, you know your report card, right? Yeah. When you fail, there's a red underline. Mm. Yeah, so I oh, always really? get, yeah, I always get yes. the red underline for Mandarin. Mm. And then when I come home, I'm damn scared because, my parents cannot, they don't speak to me in Mandarin also. So then I, they don't, I don't know what they're expecting. So then, <laughs> then when I feel right, no, but it's, we laugh now, right? But at yeah. that time, right, when I go home, right, I'm shaking on it because I'll be crying. Mm. My dad will make me kneel down, right? Eh. Huh? I don't, yeah, so the so, moment you go home, you just kneel down. Okay, okay, so right, I go <laughs> like, home, right? Okay, set the scene, I need set to the sign, scene. Okay, my father watching TV, uh, TV right? He's damn shit from his work already. Then I come oh. back, so I just give him, Daddy, I need to sign. I need you to sign and give back. Then he will flip, right? Then he's like, whoa! Then he get very angry, you know? Then my mom was so angry. Everyone's angry, okay? <laughs> then, then, <laughs> well, like contagious. So then he went <laughs> out. He went out for a smoke break. So I knew, I don't want to do because I knew down beside him uh, mm. to give him to sign. No, at what point this kneeling thing start? Last time our punishments, because <laughs> my, my dad is Taoist. Uh -huh. So then we have uh, like an altar at home, right? Mm. Then I have to, last time we were naughty kids, right? We don't be new. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that became uh, natural to me. Uh, and then I went to him, I knew, right? I need right. to sign. Then he went off for a smoke break. Then he could never come, up very, never come back in very long. Oh, <laughs> then you just stand there. Then you just stand there. He's like, smoke one more, I give her the oh, no. dramatic Yeah, it's that sad. No, so but you I, never no, had tuition? Uh, in school, no, no. Huh. Never had tuition. No, but I agree that the signing of the- It's damn scary. Oh, yeah. Exam, right? It's scarier than the actual taking of the exam. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. I, I just scared to present the results if mm. it's bad. I always study for the first things of the year. Then okay. I always get like <laughs> 90 <laughs> over 100. Okay. Then after that, all zero. But zero? zero Why would you do zero. that? You're not I, trying. Cause I, I good one time, then I show my dad, whoo, things here, uh -huh. 100. Then after that, he'll think like, oh, good, right? Then after, <laughs> <laughs> after that, I never study, no time, I got so many CCA. Just no. study one word, then the you at least don't get zero marks. At least get one mark. Yeah. Right. Interesting, oh, my mom was a total opposite of all Which of your parents. Also. Yeah, my oh, mom's yeah. a Chinese tutor. Oh, yeah. Tutor. And then on top of that, she's a tiger mom, right? As, mm. as our audiences would know. <laughs> Since young, right? Like at the start of every year, my family got two activities. One is we get to draw a picture with my dad, who is a very good drawing. Uh, he's very good at drawing. What? So we get to draw them with color, like an A3 block, that wow. kind of thing. Like, yeah. So yeah. Like, then after that, the activity two is make timetable with my mom. So, <laughs> <laughs> so after oh we get God. to play the drawing already, right? Then, so every single day, then which block is Xiu Xi, which block is a rest time, yeah, which me. block is like study, study, yeah. study, rest time, sleep. Uh, oh. Yeah, so that's what my primary school life looked like. Then wow. during the PSL period, it was quite BAUS for me. La. Because my whole yeah, la, well, primary school life is already like that, right? So mm. it didn't feel, as I can feel like my mom more kanjong, but then at the same time, I think because my grades had been pretty good throughout primary school, right? She also feel a bit like not much to worry about, law. Mm. Yeah. Then when my grades come out, right, then she cry. Huh? <gasps> oh, because Too good. No, 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 you worry. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, waiting for the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I scored two five one. Then she cried. Not enough. Two five one. Two five one. 
now she cry. Uh, she said never do well enough. Ha, the high one is like her target for me was two six three. So to me, like I felt, so, I felt number. very very short. No, but what's uh, the difference? Two six three go Nanyang girls at that okay. time. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Some boy got a specific number. So then, yeah, then I didn't make it, ma. Then like she's super disappointed because all our like the Chinese tuition group like she got a lot of the friends, yeah. ma. So all the kids right, all it's like Raffles, Hua Chong, all those kind one. Yeah. So then when come out, I go I can only make it to say next. Then, Ayyo. then she like them set. Oh, the and then, standard very high. But do you think like her being like so strict, right? Mm. Sure, it translates into perhaps a very academically good student. But yeah, like throwing the question back to you, like how does that affect the parent-child relationship? You know, as in like when people hear my stories about mm. her from when I'm younger, they are often like shocked or they are like taken aback. Like, hey, how come your mom so strict? There's a bit mm. of like that negative connotation. Oh. But actually, when I look back at it, I feel like it turned out very well for me. Eh? Yeah. You know what I mean, mm. I am someone that require the structure and require a bit of like external motivation. And then I think it's quite interesting because it is true that at the time when my mom kind of loosened her reins a bit in JC, mm. then I retained. Oh. Then, mm. I mean, it was a mixture of a lot of things going on at home and then like with my friends as well. Lah. But then the timing was so coincidental, right? <sighs> that when she that- can make the correlation. When that moment no, happened, right? My will. mom noted it as a causation. Oh. Yeah. 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 I like, still can't tell the difference. And like proved people. her point of yeah, like correct. she has to be like controlling yeah, in order correct. for you to do well. Yeah. Oh. So for PSLE, I got 176. Okay. So you could have not showed up for one paper, right? And still score more than me, I think. <laughs> I don't know how the standard deviation works, but okay. <laughs> no, but that's the funny thing is that when I received the results, right? Uh. I was like, what die already? Because there's a precedent of my brother like being in Express, mm. right? And then somehow, with one seven six, you're not gonna get into Express. It's at that point in time like that one. But then my mother just took the results, and my my both my parents were there, and they saw the results, and they, what's surprising is that, they didn't even bet that eyelid. Mm. They were like, it's okay. But how do you feel about that? Like, were you disappointed by the results and then surprised by right. your parents? I was yeah, I was scared right. because like. I didn't meet the expectations, right? And then I was expecting a scolding. Right. But then they just very calmly, it's not like, the, you know, like sometimes when people are processing in yeah. your face, you can kind of tell, right? It's like, no, calm down, calm down. And no, actually they expect it already. Maybe that's why. Gerald, I think okay. Don't my story, but. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they're high. Like, yes. <laughs> no, and then th there's just this one thing I remember my mother saying, and it's like been with me the entire, my entire life. Like, it's like, it's okay. Don't think of your brother. Don't think of anyone. Everyone moves at their own pace. Oh. Wow. Yeah, if you need one more year to get through secondary school, it's not the end of the world. Mm. Then I was like, wow. Oh, she dropped wisdom. <laughs> you know what my mother said to me? <laughs> it's the end of the world. <laughs> no, she said, you're going to steal my face. No! Translate, just, translation to English is, uh, you really embarrassed me. I'm or you throw my face on the floor. Literally, my that is PSLE Chinese is go. A okay. Thank you, thanks, yeah. Which is my teacher? Zero all the way, but PSLE A. <laughs> Because hey. I think my father told me this story. He said like, as I was studying, he tell, he's very like a storyteller kind of person, mm. which inspires me also because I'm quite dreamer kind. So he told me like, <laughs> think of it as this is a race. You are the last runner on the lap. So now it's your time to take the baton and run to the finish line. Baton. Then I was like, yes. Then I freaking studied A for Chinese. <laughs> Proud of you. But B for math. It's okay. okay better than yeah. my C. No, but I always get a D for math, so to me it's mm. like, woo! Wow, improvement yeah. in the part where it's important. Yeah. I am yeah. the knee score minus hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait you're lower than him? Yeah. One five. Oh. No la, no la, almost hundred la. You're you one, cannot say <laughs> About that what? I'm one six four. Okay. Uh. That's way higher yeah, than that hundred. Is more, minus really. ninety, I guess. <laughs> Then was your mom like very disappointed? No, but it's, this is that's the thing. You knew. Uh? No, no, no. We are the opposite. Your parents' reaction to you, hey, mine is very different. Because to me, when I received the result, eh, God, I got no expectations. I go primary mm. school is really just to play. So now I see, <laughs> and so far, right, my report cards are, uh, my teachers always say, Shermin is a very cheerful girl. She's a very friendly girl. Wow, so mm. much phrases. Eh? I love my school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, it's like, it's got the sandwich copy method. Copy yeah. Yeah. No, then I get my result, one, six, four. Eh, okay, what? Mm. I don't know what to expect. Oh. Then I was like, okay, 100 plus eh. 100 wow. plus eh, what a good score. I went over 100 eh. Then my dad looked at it, right? He said, wow, why are you so stupid? Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, he didn't affect me at that time. He oh, was like, okay, okay. he was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can go secondary school. <laughs> you don't understand what's like, stupid. I, 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 I really don't know 
Yeah. Well, maybe he was onto know. something. And the only thing that I was affected by, right, was that my friend, my best friend in school, right, uh. was, she scored better. So she was going to a better school. Oh, so y'all cannot go same school? Yeah, they're like, oh mm. man. So that's what you were saying. But it's about. okay, but we're next door. Cause they're both in Bukit Batok. Yay, mm. we still can see each other. But, oh no, you live in Bukit Batok. <laughs> <laughs> I think really right, that PSLE, that reaction that they had really was the moment that shaped my relationship with my parents. Of also. like how I felt like they had my back no matter what. Right. Cause that I felt to that. me right, like rock bottom. And they, that was proof right, that they loved me unconditionally. Like I remember even during my wedding, right? Like that was the moment I used to like kind of say oh, during speech, my speech, uh? you know, like oh. I remember I told the PSLE story and everyone was like, hmm. Does your mom remember this though? Or like when you say, right, then she realized. I think she remembers. La. Like that's a pretty pivotal <laughs> moment in your children's lives, eh? like collecting mm. your PSLE results. And then for, I think they really handled it the best Good, yeah. that they could have. And I think that really set me on the path, right? A bit more to Alison's path of like, okay, now I'm a bit more, it's a bit, it's still hands off, but I have to be responsible for myself as well. Mm. And that's when I started like, uh, putting more effort into my studies. Oh, yeah. Positive uh, reinforcement. Positive yeah. reinforcement, yeah. Okay, so moving on from primary school, right? Do y'all think that like your parents' support for you has changed over the years? <laughs> no, it really hasn't changed. I've, I've, like, yeah, from that point onwards, I felt like they've only reinforced that. And it's always the milestones, right? Where like, I got married and mm. then my father said like, if you need anything at all, just come to me. Have you? Yes, uh, cockroach mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. and he stays like opposite. 10 minutes away, that's, oh, like, that's why I dare oh. to ask him about it. But I, I think they've, they've very successfully cultivated this uh, mm. open relationship. <laughs> Relationship. With you, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this this this, this relationship where you can be uh, open with your parents, open with your vulnerabilities. Mm. It's, it's not like wow, well, you you thirty three years old already still scared of cockroach that kind of thing. It's like no, but beyond that, like because there's like how to say it's just a fear, ma. It could be an irrational fear, right? But when you actually have issues or you feel like you are facing something very very difficult at work, right? Do you go to your parents for support? Okay, that's where it's a bit that's, more That's murky. where my friends come in. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that feels a bit murky because I feel like beyond like going into your teenage year, secondary school uh, mostly starting from there is when I stop talking to them about personal things, like relationships. I like girl, I won't tell my parents one. I guess it just made sense at that point in time, like, at least for me, right? It's like, if I am going through like me, a 14 year old boy liking a girl, like, why do I go talk to my friends who are also 14 year old boys who like girls, you know? Mm. If I'm in poly and I'm uh, graduating from polytechnic and I want to join the media industry, why don't I just go talk to people who are graduating from polytechnic and mm. go into the media industry? It just felt like a natural thing to kind of like, I think they can provide a better like answer than mm. my parents. Because they're leaving it. Yeah, because they're leaving it. Like, living yeah. it like I don't know how I came to this conclusion, but we, I just r realized, right? Like <laughs> my parents have been in love before. <laughs> like they literally, <laughs> got, so human, they literally uh. got married, right? And then they, <laughs> they bore me, right? And that would be interesting, right, actually, in terms of like hearing my dad's take uh -huh. on like romance, or his advice to me of like, how to approach romance as a 14 year old boy. No, I do think that the there's a bit of that rubber band effect for most people's relationship with their parents. So that, I mean, when you're young, mm. then they're pretty much the only people you can rely on mm. for sustenance and survival and yeah. every, uh, providence, right? Yes. So close, very close. Then eventually you start to create your own like personal identity uh, and emo. then try to form who you are. Then like yeah. you don't want to seem like you're the uncool kid mommy's boy or what that kind of thing, right? Mm. Then yeah. of course that's, it creates a gap. Then eventually, right? I think, especially when you married, then you start to think that like, as in you start to realize that actually a lot of your parents' wisdom, right? Mm. Works towards like how to maintain a relationship with your spouse and then how to like resolve conflict with your spouse. A lot of these things like older people know how to do that younger people, right, would tend to throw away. So then mm. that's when you kind of start realizing the value of your parents and their wisdom again. And then also like now staying apart from your parents, right? Then you start to find that time with them more precious. And then I think that is that, then you snap back to it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. are mistakes. Uh. You learn from yeah. your mistakes. I've done that too. Yeah. Actually, one of the more pivotal moments of my relationship between me and my parents, right, was also because of my dad. I always 
see my dad as the fun parent. Uh, do the picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then I think it was only when uh, he had to give up his shop because yeah. we used to own a shop. Then when he had to give up his shop, right? Then when I do his resume for him, uh. then he say he want, like the reason for quitting or like for wanting to <laughs> go and do full-time employment instead of being self-employed was mm. that now that my, the, my children are grown up, then he feel like he want to catch up on all the time that he lost with us, right? Because he was working and trying to provide us with everything that he could. Yeah. Oh. A lighter so, schedule. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he said like he want to have like the, that load of being self-employed mm. off of his shoulder so that mm. he can focus on spending time with us, well, me and my brother. He knows what works uh, on the resume. Mm. Oh. But uh, also that was the truth, like, I realized. Right. Yeah, so then- <laughs> But then he only got one thing on the resume. <laughs> <laughs> business <laughs> owner. Yeah, so no, but sweet. under business also got a lot of things. Yeah, to do. a lot of tasks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think like that was the moment that I realized that like behind the scenes also, right? My father had been doing all these things like to provide for my brother and I also. Mm. <coughs> yeah. And then even for my mom, like even though her methods, like some people might think are very extreme or what. Uh, like I know I spoke yeah. a lot of maybe not very fun things about my mom, mm. but like <laughs> same. But like my mom and I, we have a very unique relationship, right? Where during my secondary school period, when I was growing and figuring myself out, right? Mm. We were, f can I say f***ing close? We are like, we are very, <laughs> Close. We'll bleep it out, we were fucking close. Like to the extent where she will know my every, she's like my diary law. Like the oh. day when you start writing diary, I tell her, dear mom. <laughs> oh, your diary. <laughs> dear oh, your diary. Yeah. 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 I always tell her today, right? Wow, well, my this friend talked to me like that, right? I feel a bit sad. Mm. But then how, I thought like, never mind, it's okay. No, so it's like just blabbering. I have a friend that said to me, right? That like uh, she want to talk to the mom. Then the mom like say, ah, yeah, you, you talk a lot already, I don't hear you. Then the mother go and bathe, right? Then she follow the mother going, then she sit on the toilet bowl and talk, 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 talk while the mother bathe. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Like, you don't want that close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but, no, but that's that my extent. That's like so impressive, isn't it? Yeah. But I won't go and when she's showering, I won't I won't <laughs> sit inside, but I'll stand outside and talk to her. Oh my god. So when she closes <laughs> the door, right? Then she, she starts playing the music inside. <laughs> oh my god. She pulls her waterproof your piece. No, I just tell her everything. And I, I miss those moments. La. So mm. cute. So yeah. why do you stop? We had to because we were in a toxic relationship after that because of, along with all this, and we needed some space between us, right? So mm. that we can love each other properly. As in, was it something in your household that changed, that sparked this, or like, what changed? When I reached secondary school, right, I became like, I, I kind of, I think my, I, I had some situation at home also. So it kind of mm. pushed me to become a hyper inde independent individual. Mm. So I was doing everything myself. I made plans myself. I decide everything by myself and I just informed my parents. I think that was, that relationship between my parents and I right, was perfect. The only time I talk to them or reach out to them, maybe when I'm like in the conundrum, need to, I'm stuck with making an important decision, like career decision. I feel like at some point, right, they don't know what I'm doing already. Mm -hmm. So very difficult for me to explain. You I'm, tell a whole story and yeah. set the context And even them. if I set the whole context, they still don't understand. Right. Like up to today, they don't know what I do for my for a living. They right. just know, oh, a video. It's like yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Video, but I'm trying to speak Mandarin. You're on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So <laughs> difficult to tell them my day-to-day -day struggles. But also. it does feel like you internalize most of your things. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Like versus like going to, like even your partner, like your partner or your friends or your mm. parents, right? I feel like they are secondary, but like you try to solve your own problems. I more. feel like that it should be the way. Like. like you need to, you solve your own problems first before, like to the extent where you cannot already, right? Then you reach out to other people. I feel. I agree. <laughs> Maybe because I only show them the good parts of my studies, right? Or whatever happens in my life. Then I think that, when I grow older, that is also what I show to them. Like if there are good things that I'll tell them, if there are bad things, I try to handle it on my own. But mm. I feel like they have seen me in some bad times that they have taught me that no matter how bad my life is, right, I'm still loved by them. Mm. Nothing will ever change the fact that I'm their child and they love me very much. Like that is the whole basis. But I still feel like I will try to hide the sad or bad parts of my life from them because I don't want them to see it. And I feel like, cause growing up, they also, when I hear them talk to their friends, it's mostly only the good parts, man. Nobody mm. will tell their friends, hey, you know my child, like, or whatever. They won't say like, huh? no, they, they <laughs> This conversation, <laughs> right? Wait till the news comes in after When they all gather, I feel like they won't really talk about the bad news. They'll mostly say, hey, my, my mm. child got A for English, yeah. or like, oh, my child won an award for her dance. No, that one is Chinese New Year time, when you just <laughs> oh. did a summary, so that's the highlight reel. But right, day right. to day, uh, day right. to day will complain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so, so I feel dishes. like I just had to do my best, law. and then sometimes mm. when I fall short, then they remind me that you don't have to be like, 
mm. overachiever or whatever lah. For me, because I'm not as close to my parents, like I think I always saw them as like disciplinarians in a sense. Right. Mm. And then they are just people that how to say, uh, it's like your boss like that lot at work. Mm. But then you, I will not go to my boss with my problems, oh, like okay, my, my okay. love problems or whatever ma. And then I also always felt that like. Uh, these are just not things that you talk about with your parents. Mm. Say for example, job interview or how to find job, this kind of thing, right? It's all tips and tricks from my friends or if not, I just Google. Mm. Like now this internet is your best friend, right? I mean, so yeah. It and just, I cannot rely on my brother either. Ma, so, cause yeah. he haven't lived a life yet. I'm ahead of him in terms of life stage. Life yeah. stage. I did do a career switch. So I think that was a very like, talking to multiple people. There were a lot of people who were going to say like, hey, don't lie, you already studied this for how long already? Mm. You already like in this industry for like how many years already? I wouldn't recommend you mm. go to another industry. La. But my dad was just like, try lah. You how old ni? Mm. Like at that point I was like 30. And mm. then I was like, okay. You know what? And they say, if you need, if really uh, you need money, right? Mm. Like, don't think about that. Think about what the future is like mm. 10 years from now, uh, where are you going to be happy at? Mm. And once again, uh, the peace of mind or the counsel. So I've always felt like, and I don't w- take advantage of it or anything. Mm. Right? I don't say like, no, la, I have the money of my parents. So I can I can be jobless for like two months yeah. or something. And but then, I but, think like the opposite yeah. is also interesting in the sense mm. of like the support that they provide. Right? I think a lot of us at some point, we, we take pride in that we are independent at yeah. least financially, right? Mm. That we don't need to depend on them such that maybe when it comes to a point where I feel like, okay, I want to go and try this, but I'm a bit worried. Maybe I don't have like a six months of mm. uh, savings or whatever. Mm. La. And then- we pay say to Kaiko, we pay say to go back to our parents and ask for mm. such things. But mm. on the flip side, right, I can see, as I've seen in many instances where parents, they are happy they to want. help. They yeah, want it. I think they, they want to be they, yeah. important again in your no, life. No, 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 I don't <laughs> feel like they, in your they life. appreciate being a part of it and yeah. like getting uh, to, I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, like you said, right? Like you are their child, ma. Yeah. Mm. And like, do you, I think like no matter, a lot of parents also say this, that like no matter how big you get, right? You are still a baby to them, uh, you know? So- Have you been like, talking to my mom? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your mom is boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> I, I am though. I love boy. you, mom. I know you're watching. Then your dad Aww. watching you. This and then- <laughs> I think this is like the second time I've done this. <laughs> Do you think the younger generation now has a very big difference when it comes to parenting styles as compared to our parents? Or how they wanted to provide wow. support for us specifically? Where's Dan when you need him? He's, He's still providing perfect. support for his one yeah. month. <laughs> okay, I feel like last time is simpler. It's just study, good grades. It's true, it's true. You know, don't study, bad grades, uh. bad life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, maybe not true. But like now it's like, okay, how's your mental health? Uh, uh. How's your playtime? Like, do you have enough? Like, like many layers like, to you. Yeah, do you have enough things that can There's give? this word that educators always use that I always used to laugh at and it's called holistic. Uh, 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 holistic uh, approach. Uh, it's really like yeah. that now. The holistic yeah. thing. No, because I feel like maybe now there's a lot more like, involvement mm. like wow tuition wow got tuition for parents no not just tuition it's just like i thought it's just yeah. a class or why yeah. you got extra class then yeah. you know i think it's cause it's just cause like last time maybe there, there were problems you know of our generation maybe we had problems and then they we learn find the solution for those problems but then it caused like much more <laughs> complicated things no i think you realize that like the root of the problem is not just that so that's where where you go in depth, right? Then everything starts yeah. to like- Yeah, I, yeah, I think that all these things that you mentioned, like mental health and all that mm. kind of well-being is all <laughs> stuff that was present in the 90s. It definitely, right? And so I would say that a lot of our growing up, right? Our parenting in that point in time was left to chance. <laughs> Really, really, really. It's like, I see what works. Well, I hope it works out. But then now I feel like it's a lot more like- uh, no, you we making are sure you, you are removing the yeah. the possibilities of making mistakes. Like, is mm. their mental health okay? If their mental health okay, then better than someone who is like, what happened to the kid? But at the same yeah. time, it's also like parents have to deal with so much more now, don't you think? It's definitely a lot harder to be a parent now. And I think a lot, right? Especially our generation or mm. like the, those that are 30 year olds now, right? They feel like <laughs> as they are trying to grapple with the trauma that they might have grown up with, then having a child also and then having to mm. like life learn or like life relearn things so that they don't pass on that same trauma to the, their child, right? It can mm. be yeah. quite taxing. Mm. Mm. And then my brother, he becomes very like 
his discipline style is also different. I think last time it's like, oh, you naughty, you get punished, that kind of thing. Mm. And now it's more like good for their mental health. They can like, <laughs> like, Recovery. Do you know that this is wrong? Mm. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know what you mm. do? Mm. Can you tell me what is next? It's what like trying you to do? help them understand oh, better. The articulation yeah. of everything. Yeah, yeah. I think articulate is a lot to my nephew so that he tr- understands or help him understand the situation. I talk to a lot of friends yeah. also uh, who are who have who are new newly minted parents mm. la. and then they always tell me right when their parent uh, their kids begins to behave right they will try to reason with them first. But, but honestly, I ask them if like let's say I I'm the kid. You tell me the reason why I'm do why I do this is wrong, right? I like mm, I just don't want to do la. Like that. Then how? <laughs> wow. No, so that was me. So okay, I was a very naughty. How to say it? I feel like because like I got a bit of that. Like my mom always said I'm very thing. I'm not sure how to say uh, like, wit. Like I have a bit of that wit. Oh, uh, so like witty. certain things, like even when I'm I small at the time, like the com- the kind of comments that I make, right, will throw them off on. Mm. So they really have no choice, right, but to say it's because I say so. Uh, it's not right. Uh, like exactly. certain things they say, I ask why, 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 why. Then they call me E one girl. Wait some more. Like one yeah. got like ten thousand mm, wives. Mm, mm. Like everything. Right, I keep asking why, why, why. So yeah. then the only way because I think there's a lot of things that as a child I cannot understand. Mm. And then the only way is for them to say this law. But right. then as a child, I'm like, Ish. <laughs> or like when they when they say that, that I know. Okay, I win already because that's how they uh. know they cannot win the argument. <laughs> <laughs> the moral victory was yours. Yes, that is okay. That I, yeah. go back to your I think room. I think as we grow right now that we are like adults, right? We also feel like we are more forgiving to what our parents. I have feel like done we are to trying us. to understand. Yeah, like yeah. we kind of like, oh, I know why you do this, lah. Like what mm. you say, like, why your parent? I like, say because I say so. Mm. You know, it's like uh, you understand it's why true. now. I watch this like quite. Yeah. It was a bit like of a gut punch actually. That <laughs> it was this video of, uh, like this girl she video her mom then she put on TikTok right then with the caption like the it was just them the mom sitting in her car and then like look outside then like she, the mom also like videoing the view outside then like oh, very excited cute. that kind then mm. the caption is like uh like just a reminder to myself that my mom is also living life for the first time. Mm. Oh yeah. Like, you know, oh, it's also her first yeah, time like yeah. traveling yeah. out to those countries and like seeing it. It's exactly this post that I will cry over. <laughs> <laughs> no, then the top comment, all I do on this app is cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I mean, this is a side conversation, but like recently, like I I try to build new experiences with my dad. Then mm. when I see mm-hmm. happy, right? Wow, I won't cry. Eh. I said, I won't cry. Just cry on me. No, you probably have to go travel also like, recently. Yeah, yeah. So when oh, I yeah. brought him to travel, right? Because my dad is a very a Asian block. man, doesn't speak much, little <laughs> words, you know? Yeah. Then when he go to, to like, let's say I brought him to Thailand, right? Somebody <laughs> come. He's like, wow, wow, wow. Hey, take photo, take photo. Like, oh, he's very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Take photo of nothing, uh, by the way. And it's just like, like a side of him that you never see before. Mm. Uh, I think I've seen it before, but like, I didn't think that I had the power in me to give him that mm. experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, it was really, guys, do something for your parents. Uh. Meet them. <laughs> Get them to Thailand and show them uh, and give them iPhone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed our sharing. Today's episode is done in collaboration with the Ministry of Social and Family Development and they want to hear from you too. So let us know down in the comments below. How is your relationship with your parents? How has it evolved? How have they provided you support over the years? And if not, who are other people that you do turn to for support? Like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I always number yeah. one Ooh. because I register number one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I tell you, my regi- because of my name, right? I always sit oh, the first eh. seat and I think it's the best seat, right? Because when I sit there, right, I see That's nobody right. in front of me. I feel like I compete against myself. Oh. Cause like, if, I, if I'm J, right? Then I have to sit in the middle. <laughs> I'll be there What's wrong with J? No, cause you're in the middle, then you'll be then stressed like everyone, like your uh. whole view, right, is people. But then cause I sit one, right? I just do this. Then you focus on then yourself. Then I just do, do my work. Then I feel like that is conducive enough. <laughs> Sometimes I like, during the exam, right? Then I want to see where's everyone at. Like, am I doing the fastest? Yeah. Then You're really crazy. Eh? No, 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 no. No, then after I realize it looks like I look like I'm trying to copy the answer. Cheat, right? yeah. <laughs> but it's not. No, you're just here for the flipping of pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, it's very stressful because you know when you answer your first page, right? Yeah. Then you'll hear the yeah. Then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> 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 <laughs>